Good day folks from Natural Grandma, Papa Hank here. And I'm showing you uh, where we sowed cover crops back in the video that said grazing like Greg Judy, but not quite, so, or something like that. And we reseeded an area that was problematic with ruts. And we reseeded it with wheat and radishes, warm season grass. And <laughs> we turned uh, our finishing cattle, the grazing steers, got some spring calves with them here too. You can see a little spring calf heifer, but we integrated them yesterday. And we brought them down here and we give them some of this stuff over here with the reddish tops and, and uh, wheat. And I didn't quite intend for them to take this down so severely, but I think, I think it's all, you know, went dormant anyways, so I don't think it's a big deal, but it just looks like something out of Jurassic Park here when you, I come back down to put this fence up today, the next fence, because they eat the tops off the radishes and they eat the wheat, and they left those radishes that are half in the ground and half out of the ground. It looks like somebody went through here and, and did some tree harvesting or something. Some of these radishes are three inches across and 18 feet, 18 inches, I'm sorry, to two feet long. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead, just hang on a second here. I'm going to black you out and I'm going to roll this up and let this uh, mob of grazing steers have another strip here. So stand by come on cattle come to papa hank come on cattle this is a three to one gear ratio reel so you're gonna hear the clicking there we're just gonna let them go right on in here and then i'll be back shooting video again so consider this information intermission here. Go ahead and get your popcorn. And buy the sodas. Oh wait, no, don't drink soda. It's not good for you. But they are quite excited to get on this stuff. As you can see, the thundering herd is coming in. And I'm gonna walk on up in them and as you can see, they've got their heads down and they didn't go far. And you'll see them, they like the, the dark grass is wheat mostly and they like that probably the best. But they will pull off those reddish tops and eat some of them too. And they're actually eating part of the reddishes I've seen over there some of that were the reddishes have been bit off but mostly that's just carbon and i know from using the reddishes in field crops uh, as a cover crop that when they die over the winter and then they rot that they get quite a stink it there's been uh, people thought they had gas leaks and all kinds of stuff there's there's a reddish that they broke off when they hit it. And you see that's that's at least a foot long what is left that was up out of the ground. And there's there was probably a foot in the ground. So just a massive bunch of carbon that's going to decompose out here and make uh, stuff for the earthworms and the microbes and has to just put carbon in the ground and this is a time it was 17 degrees this morning so it's a good time to have these steers here because this ground is a little soft from having the disc on it and I think I think that terrace they're standing on right there I actually used a moldboard plow on that and plowed that up so uh, just to kind of reconstruct the terrace and clean the channel out but there's yesterday's grazing <laughs> that still is just so 
freaky looking. And this is what it looked like before I turned them in on that. And I just give them a kind of a narrow strip here. Uh, we having those frosts, so we're trying not to not to give them any of this when it's really wet with the frost. I don't think there's a problem, but just being careful. Little fall or spring heifer there. She's about seven months old. So another difference is those were young cows and we just went on and pulled the calves off of them Thanksgiving day. So these calves are weaned now and in with our finishing cattle. So, so anyways, good day to you folks. Um, just uh, here's here's one of those reddishes. If I can get focused in on it here. Yep. There's there's the reddish that's at least a foot long and right there below it is the stump where it broke off so there's a two inch reddish in the ground probably at least that long again and you've got all this top here that these cattle are going to eat so there's another one that they broke off when they run across it because you can see these things are are dying from the freezes anyway so it's just as well to let them harvest this off and put it back down but just a little different grazing and we may never do again because we hope we don't ever have any massive tractor ruts to repair again but some of them we couldn't get to four wheeler across so good day folks from natural grandma forage finishing some steers that'll be ready for the consumer a little over a year from now so things don't happen too quick around natural grandma papa hank here signing off don't forget to like and share and keep praying for our country god bless you